So, have you ever seen a movie that made such a tremendous impact in you that by the time it ended, you felt like literally a different person? Maybe you could not really understand what it was, but what it was like you felt different, you think different, you walk different, but you cannot really understand why, but it's there. How many of you have had this kind of experience? Raise your hand and say hi. Uh, hi. So, plenty hi. of people. Uh, so, so this is interesting. So for me, that movie was 300. For those of you who don't know this movie, it told, it told the, the story of this Spartan king who led his 300 Spartan warriors to, um, to block these invaders. The Persians were like thousands of them, and they were just 300. And besides the cool action scenes, fun stuff, special effects, cool music, what it was for me, this special moment throughout this um, amazing movie was just this one scene. It's a very, very special scene. There was no action, no music, no special effects really. I think just the abs, I think there were some special effects there. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the special thing was that this ally from this Spartan king just came run, just came run to him and say, we're doomed. We're doomed. We're going to die. I mean, the Persians have surrounded us as we speak, and the battle is over. And he's, as soon as he said this, the battle's over, the re he, the, his response was automatic. Like, this war is over when I say that it's over. I was like, okay, this guy is really passionate about this stuff. Interesting. And the guy would say, no, no, you don't understand. We are getting surrounded. There's only retreat, death, or worse. Now, and this is, was the moment where I felt, oh my God, what happened next, I mean? Because what happened next, and I will never forget his words, really made a profound impact in me. Not sure if it, was, if, it, if, if it was the words or the way he said it or how fast he said it, but he said this, that's an easy choice for us. Spartans never retreat. Spartans never surrender. Go spread the word. Let every Greek know the truth about this. Let each of them search their own souls. Then while you're at it, search your own. And I did. I did search my own soul because I felt like, oh my God, I'm ready to rock and roll. <laughs> and, I, and, and, and at the same time, I felt like, okay, but they were about to die. So how can I feel like they were feeling like ready to die, like almost like they were winning, like triumph, triumph. But they're not, they were about to die. So I searched and searched and searched. And until it hit me, like months later, not to say years, but I think easily months. And what was it is the purpose. Proposite in Portuguese. So purpose is why. It's the why. It's why you do what you do. It's what it makes worth you living. Because some of you may say, hey, I mean, come on, How, what is the odds of me being surrounded with Persians ready to die? That's kind of an extreme situation, and of course, you're right, I agree. But the point is, each of us, as we speak right now, this very second, each of us is dying. Aren't you glad that you came to this motivational speech? <laughs> but it's true, like, with every breath, we are one step closer to our death. Now, the point is, are you making every single breath count? Because when you do, we, most of our lives, we tend to run away from that. How many of you agree? There's, we have always this saying that builds and death, the later the better, right? <laughs> and we also have this amazing saying, I love it, which is personally, I mean, it's the best, is there's a solution to everything except what helped me. Death. Death. But I'm here today to tell you that it's not true. That is a solution to death. And that is called purpose. It wa it's what makes your life worth living for, but also dying for. I mean, if you wake up this morning and you feel like, oh crap, I have to go to work, it means that whatever you're doing, it's not aligned with your purpose. And you can like quiet that voice and you say, okay, yeah, big deal, I need to get practical, I, need, I have bills to pay, so whatever, I mean, we, we are supposed to do what we have to do to get on with our lives and that's it, or is it? I think that each one of you is here for one reason, you want more. How many of you agree with this? You are looking for your purpose. And that's what makes you kind of like those 300 Spartans. There's few of you, 
because there's few people in this in this life or in this world who are willing to go the extra mile and go all the way. So let me tell you, in my opinion, how you can create this unstoppable force that can make you and the people that you lead that are surrounding you to have that kind of unstoppable, uh, like breakthrough kind of attitude. So the first one thing that you need to do is commit. Commit means making a decision. Like going all in, burn the ships, break the bridges, go all in, whatever it takes on your purpose. The second thing is you need to be clear on what are your always and what are your nevers. Because this guy was saying, we never retreat, we never surrender. It was very clear. And because it was super clear to him, making a decision is easy. So see, when people say, oh, I will do my first speech in like three months, it's not that that, that person is lazy or procrastinating, it's because that person is not clear on what their values are. They're not committed. Because if I say I commit to make this course or my journey here, I will do it, and they will figure out the how later, they will do it. And they will keep improving, and that's the challenge that each and every one of you here will do, regardless of how well you talk or whatever. You've got to improve. So that's the second thing. Be clear on your always and your nevers. And finally, get clear or on your legacy. Because that's the very thing that will make you beat death. That's the solution. Because legacy is what will keep here, like in this planet. It will be here long after you're gone. So you can't choose to be a force for good or a force for like negative stuff. Because this is very powerful stuff. And this is the, the very same speech and foundation that terrorists use to inspire other people to just blow up. Because they have a high purpose, they are committed, they are going all whatever it takes to break, to destroy. But you can do and you can make a positive impact in the world by going all in and help people, contribute beyond yourselves, help, help others, and make a meaningful impact, positive and meaningful impact in the world. And that's my challenge to you today. I challenge you to go all in, to never retreat, never surrender, and create a life worth living and dying for. Thank you so much for taking the time to walk to hear me. And I hope that you take action, of course. <laughs>